Welcome back friend this is Ram here and it's 37 tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see the password validation. So let's start for that 37 tutorial for password validation. First of all I will run this application and show you the previous application which we are working from last few tutorial so this is the application where we have added some fields and added some passwords uh, ran some random password like a same username and password but there must be uh, some validation for this there must be uh, integers some characters special characters special symbols or the there must be a limit of the password or a length of the pa password so we are going to do that validation in this tutorial so let's begin with that I'm going to add one class for password validation so I'm going to copy one of the validation class or method and paste it here and rename this with a validate password so now the pattern so the pattern for the validation must be like a, this the password must contain uh, digits from 0 to 9 must contain a lower case per case characters special symbols on the list like at the rate hash dollar and percentage symbol and uh, it can be a uh, multiple time so match anything with the previous condition and the we can set the length of the characters from uh, at least 6 or maximum or uh, we can do for as per our convention so first for all for the say let's start with the pattern for this now for must contains for first line must contains one digit so question mark equals to so it will check question mark and equals to for the check dot for all the possible characters numeric variable numeric integers and special characters then it can be a multiple time star for multiple times then double backslash d first the integer from 0 to 9 so this will be the first line and the next line going to add same check for all characters from a to z so this will be from the for the lower case characters it will check for check for all a to z characters or a possible character dot for possible characters and it can be a multiple times so for the third say third line for upper character compare it for all characters uh, that can be a multiple times and this time there must be a uppercase letter now the fourth line as for the special symbols similarly same question mark there may be all possible characters or numbers then it can be a multiple times and it must contain some special symbol at the rate hash dollar and percentage 
sign close the bracket now these these can be a multiple time so multiple times or in for, for possible things so for the five, fifth line if such match founds multiple times for that we are adding a dot and finally the length of the password so we can set any length so i am going to set minimum at least minimum six characters and maximum say 15 characters close up bracket so from starting first line we are going to ch check for the digits in the second line we are going to check for the uppercase letters in the third line are, sorry in the second line lowercase letter in the third line uppercase letter in the fourth line we are going to add in, we are we have added some special symbols and going to check for that and for fifth line there must anything with the previous condition so if there are multiple times with the same conditions we are going to check with the, this dot and the length of, finally the length of the password and I, I have set that at least 6 and maximum 15 so I am going to copy this pattern and add into the pattern so next change this with the password get text we are going to provide the password to the matcher class if it founds match with the pattern and there must be a so this time it will be the different so m dot matches if if anything if password matches with the password validation condition with this condition we are going to return a true so there will be written a true if it matches with the password validation pattern and if it's not matches we are going to set the validation password title and we are going to change this text with some say password must contain at least one digit lowercase comma uppercase and special character special is character and the one more thing and length must be between 6 to 15 so, so whenever it going for validation it will open with this warning dialog so save this and add this validate password 
class method into the save button action so in the save button action it will check for the valid password and whenever the password is valid it will enter into the trackage block so one more thing Up in the valid fields I am going to clear this password and all the remaining things that are not necessary so username be, can be anything so we are not going to write validation for that now save this and check for the validation for password is working or not So I'm going to create a new user say user id 12 say Ranbir say Kapoor this is one of the my favorite Bollywood actor for his email id say Ranbir gmail.com this is an example it's not a true MLID and Ranbir's username Ranbir password Ranbir 1 2 3 1 uppercase letter and 1 special symbol and date of birth say something Say fourteen is a mail. Before I'm going to this, going to set a false password or any random password, say run beer, and we are going to check the validation first. So I have set the password run beer and whenever we press save it will give the validation because we have not entered with the pattern password not entered with the pattern that is low we have entered only the lower case letter so whenever we enter a invalid password or a invalid match this going to appear so now I'm going to write a with us some uppercase and special symbol say 1 2 3 there must be a digit some special symbol at the rate and and one uppercase letter say K and save this there must be some problem in the code so we are going to check that ok close this come into the pattern so the problem is in the pattern that it must be only double slash the pattern is with the only double slash the slash for the D is exceeded so that's why that giving a problem for the pattern now save this again and run it
so we are going to add same the user beer Kapoor Siran Veer 1 2 3 at the rate gmail dot com username Siran Veer and I am going to set the same password for the validation date of birth 14th something 5 1984 this is the random but it it's not a true and he is a male now save so the password is not matches with the pattern so this is giving a validation so I'm going to set the password with some letter digit uppercase lowercase letters and what some special symbol so Ranbir is with a lower case some digits 1, 2, 3 and a special symbol at the rate with a upper case say K now save so the user has been created and the new password we can see that this is the Ranbir at 1, 2, 3 at the rate K so similarly you can create a with any user now with a valid password so this is the tutorial on password validation if you have any question and doubt about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the rate gmail.com and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next tutorial.